Hi boys and girls, today we're going to learn about a very important artist. His name is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci lived through the Renaissance era. That was a time when science and art was very important, and he loved both subjects so much. Leonardo da Vinci loved everything about flying. He created many, many sketches of different types of flying machines, which later turned out to be airplanes. Which leads us into this week's project. We're going to create an origami paper airplane sculpture. Our learning goal for this project is a sculpture, where we produce a work of art through sculpture that utilizes form and space. Form is when we create something that's three-dimensional, so something that is not flat like a piece of paper. Our learning target is I can create sculptures and I can get ideas from real life objects. So you're gonna think about the real life objects being airplanes and the different designs that they have that are decorated on them and we're going to incorporate them onto our paper airplane sculpture. Since this project is a sculpture, you will need a piece of paper. It does not need to be square. It can be a regular, normal, rectangular piece of paper. I recommend a pencil to add your details, and I added markers, crayons, and colored pencils as optional in case you wanted to add some color. I always encourage you to add color to your projects. Even though I'll be doing a step-by-step -step instruction here in just a moment on the video, I'm also going to provide you the option to view or print these directions. All right, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, now we're ready to create our three-dimensional origami paper airplane sculpture. Right now, what I've done is I've got some pictures here of different airplanes that I found, and I we want to take a look real quick at some of the designs that are on these airplanes. We're going to incorporate some of the des these designs at the end when we finish up our sculpture. So we wanna add some kind of details. You could choose to add some very neat designs using different types of lines in different colors. You could make it realistic, adding windows or stripes, and you can even name your plane. Here's another one that shows some really neat different designs. We've got some wavy lines of red and different colors that are added in and also some windows. So you're gonna choose how you wanna decorate your paper airplane sculpture at the end, but here are some different pictures. And if you wanna look online, you can look online for some as well. So the first step for our origami paper airplane sculpture is we are going to have a rectangular piece of paper. So you need to find one. I'm just using a regular piece of computer paper. If you want to use a notebook piece of paper with lines, you can do that. You could probably even use part of an envelope or you could probably use part of a brown paper bag. <clears throat> now, the first step for our paper airplane sculpture is we're gonna take this rectangular piece of paper. Right now it is vertical, long way up and down. We need to start with it long way up and down. And you're gonna take your paper and the first step is we're going to fold it in half. So you're going to match up your corner to corner and you're going to push as best you can and line it up as best you can and then you're going to hold it tight and you're gonna push with your finger on the side to make a nice crease. That is step number one, and when you open it up, then we can move on to step number two. So that completes step number one. Step number two, we're going to take the corner. So if we look here, we see that we have an indented line right here from where we folded, and we're gonna take one of the top corners. So we're gonna start on the right corner, and we're going to fold it down to meet the folded line in the center. So it's going to stop here because we're not gonna take the whole paper and fold it in half. We're only folding half of the paper. So what I like to do is hold my finger tight, the finger I'm not gonna to use to fold, and hold it down. And we're gonna take this point and we're gonna match it to the folded line. So we take it here, we hold this paper tight, and we're gonna fold it right along the fold line. So you'll see that your line is gonna go right along the fold line that we already made. And you're going to fold it in half, open it up and you're going to do the same thing on the other side so taking that corner to the fold line remember stopping halfway we're not going the whole way across we're only stopping halfway and you're going to push it down and push your crease line down and then open it up and right now you should see a folded line here and you'll see two folded lines here and that completes step number two step number three 
is we are going to, let's see, fold these two pieces back down. So you're gonna keep these two pieces folded, so you're just tracing right back along the lines that you already folded from the last step. And for the rest of step number three, you're going to take this and we're gonna fold it in half. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this corner now and go to the fold line, just as we did the first, the second step. So you hold it tight and we're gonna fold right along and you're gonna push on the crease line and we're gonna take it on the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna match it right up. So you're gonna see that these two pieces are going to line right up. They're not gonna overlap. They're just going to match. So right now we have it that we have matched these two. We've now folded it in half and we are ready. This is step number four. Step number five, we're going to take this whole paper right now and we're going to fold it in half right along the fold line. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna flip it over and you're going to Keep it over here. And we are going to fold it back in half along the middle fold line. So we've got our middle fold line folded. And now you should see your flaps. So we've got a couple of flaps here. So you can see your flaps. <clears throat> now we're ready for step number seven. Step number seven, we're gonna take this whole piece and we're gonna take just the front. So we're just gonna take this front part. So right now if we open this, we see that there's two pieces. We're taking the top part and we're going to fold this part in half from this corner in the middle. So just like those other steps, how we just folded it in the half, we're going to hold it tight. This one's a little tricky, so you might need to be a little extra careful. And you're going to fold it right along. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to fold it in half again. And there are lots of other paper airplane techniques to fold that you can look up online too to make different types of airplanes. This one's just a simpler version. All right, so once we're done, we're gonna open it. And what you've got is you have your easy, nice paper airplane. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna add your designs on the sides of our paper airplane and right here where the wingspan is, so this is our wingspan of our planes, I want you to decorate and add some details onto the wingspan. And you're going to take a photo and upload it. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed it.